Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my long overdue DVD and Blu-ray update for May 12th. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's long overdue. Uh, got these last year, and uh, the ones that I got, you know, that I showed in my Christmas morning uh, vlog, if you've seen that. And uh, just haven't been watching too many movies lately, like I said, just been catching up with shows and other stuff. So now that the uh, some of my shows I watch, uh, since the uh, their seasons are ending uh, this month, some of them uh, will have the time to watch uh, more films, such and do some more reviews. Uh, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the uh, the one DVD that I only got. Uh, this show, it's a childhood show of mine. I really loved watching it. I uh, still do watch it, and, you know, this, I got this last year when it came out back in November, and it's probably, in my opinion, the second best uh, DVD uh, on, well, show to come out on DVD uh, next to the Wonder Years, and that is 66 Batman, and this is the uh, complete first season. I know the whole series is out on DVD uh, on, and on, also on Blu-ray. I was going to get the complete series, but it was like over $100, so I'm just fine with getting the season separate. So, but uh, like I said, this is a childhood favorite show of mine. I uh, really love it. It's cheesy, it's funny, and uh, you know, stars Adam West as uh, Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, and Burt Ward uh, as Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Robin. Uh, you also have uh, Frank Gorshin there, who plays the Riddler, is the back to it. Uh, no special features on it, but uh, yes, yeah, is uh, the Bat Two C right there. <laughs> but uh, I know uh, season two is out, but only volume one. Uh, her season two is going to be break broken up into volumes because it was such a long season. Uh, like I said, volume one is already out. And Volume 2 is going to come out in July, I think. Uh, so, and so this, uh, this series uh, uh, was taking a while to come out on DVD because of rights issues with uh, Warner Brothers, DC Comics, and uh, 20th Century Fox, which owns uh, 66 Batman. And... Uh, now, was, the only thing that we had before the series made its way to DVD was the 66 movie, uh, which I also really enjoy and love. Uh, but we were just really happy that the series is out on DVD, and the episodes look really good because uh, they uh, remastered it. They uh, restored the episodes uh, for HD, and so it looks really great. And uh, the other good thing about this is that uh, when you play an episode, it shows uh, how, you know, how the episode aired back in the uh, 60s. Like it starts with the Batman in color uh, showing, and it also ends, all the episodes end with the uh, 60s, 20th Century Fox television logo, uh, which is kind of cool. But, yeah, so if you haven't gotten 66 Batman... Uh, you know, just, you know, check it out if you haven't seen it. But I know some of you have. I know some of the hardcore Batman fans uh, don't like this show and despise it and, you know, make fun of people who like it because uh, the show makes fun of Batman. But, you know, it's just, a, like I said, it's just a child affair of mine. I always enjoyed watching it uh, when I came home from school. So I remember... It always used to come on after school in the afternoons on TV Land. And I would just always watch it and really enjoy it and love it. So, but, uh, if you haven't seen 66 Batman, I uh, would recommend it. But I know some of you have. Uh, we'll get to, we'll probably get the uh, the complete series too uh, when uh, when season two volume two comes out. I still need to get season two volume one. Uh, so when do get season three when that comes out. Uh, we'll do a uh, we'll do a uh, TV uh, review on the on 60s Batman, 66 Batman. So now uh, onto the Blu-rays. 
I'll start with this one. Uh, this, I got this one that came out, and it was uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It uh, stars Megan Fox, uh, William Fickner, uh, Will Arnett, and uh, also Johnny Knoxville does the voice in this. And uh, saw this in theaters, really enjoyed it. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't, but it's a fun movie. It's not great, but it's just very fun. Uh, also did a review on this movie also, so if you haven't seen my review of it, uh, go check it out. Uh, the Blu-ray does have features. It has a digital reality, in your face, the turtles in 3D, it ain't easy being green, evolutionary mashup, turtle rock, extended ending, shell shock, the music video, and the making of the music video, shell shocked. So, yeah, so if you haven't seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we we'll recommend it. It's a fun movie. Not great, like I said. Uh, next one I got, I got this for Christmas. My aunt got me this for Christmas. And uh, it's another one that I saw in theaters and really enjoyed. Transformers Age of Extinction. Uh, stars Mark Wahlberg and Nicola Peltz. Uh, we all know from uh, Bates Motel. She played uh, Bradley, which... Uh, Spoilers, though, if you haven't seen last night's episode of Bates Motel, uh, she actually gets killed off. Uh, but, yeah, she's a good actress, in my opinion. Uh, also stars T.J. Miller, too, and Stanley Tucci. Uh, but, so, like I said, saw us in theaters. Uh, really enjoyed it. I know a lot, this is another film a lot of people didn't like uh, because of, you know, it was the, because of the time on it. It's almost a three-hour movie. But, uh, like I, said, I, like I said, I really enjoyed it. It's not great. Uh, really liked the uh, the Dinobots, even though they were they weren't in it. They could have got more like screen time. They weren't in it as much. But yeah, so if you haven't seen Transformers, Transformers: Age of Extinction, uh, check it out. Uh, it's not not great, but I was recommend it if you like the other uh, Transformer films. Uh, did a review on it also. So like I said, if you haven't seen my review. Uh, check it out. Uh, this one I got, I think, on the day it came out, or uh, probably got it for Christmas. And it's Guardians of the Galaxy, which stars Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Vin Diesel, and Bradley Cooper. Uh, really loved the movie. Uh, also saw us in theaters and really loved it. Uh, it has a great soundtrack. Uh, Chris Pratt did. A great job at Star Lord. And here's the uh, the back of it. Uh, also, also, I forgot to mention on Transformers, it has uh, three hours of special features, uh, evolution within extinction, a spark of design, and much more. Here's the back to it. Just want to show it. And uh, this is the uh, the Blu-ray 3D Blu-ray Digital HD copy of Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's the back to it. And, uh, but, you know, like I said, Chris Pratt did a good job as uh, Star-Lord, and everybody did a good job, too. Uh, it does have uh, features on it. It has a Guide to the Galaxy with James Gunn, uh, the intergalactic visual effects for Guardians of the Galaxy, exclusive look at Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron, uh, gag reel, deleted scenes with James Gunn, a commentary by him, and also an audio commentary by him also on the movie. So, yeah, so Guardians of the Galaxy, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a good movie. Really loved it. Uh, can't wait for the sequel to come out, too. And uh, if you haven't seen my review of it, go, ch go check it out of it. And, yeah, so just. And then the, the uh, next one I got, got this with uh, my Best Buy gift card that my mom got me uh, for Christmas time. And the first one I got was uh, The Equalizer with Denzel Washington. Uh, also stars Chloe Grace Moretz, uh, Bill Pullman, Melissa Leo. And uh, it's directed by Antoine Fuqua. And I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, it was good. Uh, it starts off slow in the beginning, but uh, picks up really good. Uh, like the action to it. Uh, like the action in the movie. Uh, has features on it. it has uh, Vengeance Mode with Denzel Washington and Antoine Fuqua. 
Denzel Washington, a different kind of superhero, Equalizer Vision by director Antoine Fuqua, Inside the Equalizer, One Man Army, Training and Fighting, Photo Gallery, uh, Homar, Taking Care of Business, One Bolt at a Time, and Children of the Night. But uh, we'll do a uh, movie review of this at uh, some point. Uh, just, I said, if you haven't checked out The Equalizer, uh, I recommend it. It's actually based off the, uh, the TV series that ran in the 80s. So, but, yeah, so check out The Equalizer. It's a good movie. Like I said, starts off slow, but picks up uh, for the whole movie. And uh, got a lot of good action to it. So I recommend it. Uh, this one I didn't get a chance to see yet. I uh, also picked up Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, this does this stars Andy Serkis, uh, Gary Oldman. Uh, this one that I wanted to go see in the theater, but didn't get a chance to. Uh, same with the uh, the Equalizer, which I wanted to see in the theater, but didn't get the time to see it. Uh, heard some good heard great things about this. Uh, has uh, features on it. Uh, Jerry to Dawn, Andy Serkis, Rediscovering Caesar, Humans and Apes, The Cast of Dawn, The World of Dawn, The Ape Community, Move Like an Ape, An Artist Medium, Weta and Dawn, The Fight for a New Dawn, Deleted Scenes with Optional Audio Commentary by Matt Reeves, the director, uh, also has a commentary from him on the movie, and uh, Gallery. Uh, here's the back to it. So yeah, so uh, when I do check this out, I will review it. And then the final one that I got, I uh, also got this for Christmas also uh, from my mom that I showed in my Christmas morning vlog. And that is The Walking Dead, the complete fourth season. Uh, good season. Uh, say it's better than the third season, but uh, the fifth season uh, that, that aired uh, this year, I thought it was way better than uh, this season. Uh, I said, it's not a bad season. This was the season where the virus broke loose in the prison. And uh, this is when they end up killing. This is the season where the governor gets killed. Gets killed off. So there's the back to it. But uh, really enjoy The Walking Dead. Uh, can't wait for uh, season six this year. Uh, hope it's as good as season five. Uh, but we'll probably pick up season five when uh, it comes out on Blu-ray. We'll probably get it for Christmas this year. So, but yeah, so that's The Walking Dead, the complete fourth season. I know a lot of you, a lot of you watch The Walking Dead. So, uh, but yeah, so that's it for my DVD and Blu-ray update for May 12th. Uh, thank you all for watching, and it'll probably be another long time when you see uh, an update. So, yeah, so anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, and until next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.